Alan, lovely to speak to you. Uh, Boris Johnson called himself the Minister for the Union, and one of the final things he did was to say no to Nicola Sturgeon's request for a referendum. Where are we on that? Hi, yeah, one, that was in response to basically Nicola Sturgeon asking for what's called a Section 30 order, allowing Holyrood the power to hold another independence referendum. His response to that isn't a surprise, but he issued a formal letter that I think we can take a look at just now, in which he said that as our country faces unprecedented challenges at home and abroad, I cannot agree that now is the time to return to a question which was clearly answered by the people of Scotland in 2014. Now, this issue over a referendum is now being directed, referred, to the Supreme Court, so that will be dealt with later. But what if there was a different Tory Prime Minister behind the door of number 10? Would that make the case for independence less attractive? Nicola Sturgeon doesn't think so. Scotland wouldn't choose any of these people to be Prime Minister. Um, and that's the problem here. We're looking at this Westminster system and the, the chaotic Westminster system that it's become, and it doesn't represent what Scotland or a majority of people in Scotland want believe or value. And that's not going to change with the departure of Boris Johnson. The Westminster system is broken and it's that system that we need an alternative to for Scotland because inherent in it is a very, very profound democratic deficit. Well, that's Nicola Sturgeon. Alan, what about the people you've spoken to? What have they made of this today? You know what, Dan, people in Glasgow usually have something strong to say about politicians. And on Boris Johnson, most that we spoke to today were pretty happy he was going. And many felt disconnected from all the drama we've seen in Westminster. So how did you feel when you heard that he was stepping down as Tory leader today? No before time. And do, you think, even the joke. do you think him not being there changes the independence thing? Do you think it's more likely that a Section 30 order now he's away? Obviously, or? obviously. Obviously, sooner the better. Do you think it changes the independence situation of Boris no, Johnson? No, no, no. I can I see it? No, I mean, I think people still kind of heading for independence here and still kind of want it. I'm just glad I can't stand him. I think he's an absolute idiot. And that hairdo he's had puts me to shame. <laughs> <That's> sad. <laughs> you don't look too sad. Exactly. 